A crosstab query displays summarized information in a table format that makes it easy to analyze and compare data. When you summarize data using a crosstab query, you select values from specified fields or expressions as column headings and other columns or expressions are used to define the grouping criteria to form rows. The result looks like a spreadsheet. A crosstab query is expressed in SQL as a transform statement. Here is the syntax. Aggregate function. Expression created with one of the aggregate functions. It is the value you want to summarize based on the group data in one of the fields other than the ones used for column and row headers. Select statement. A select statement which contains a group by clause. Pivot field. The field or expression you want to use to create column headings in the query's result set. You can use the in clause to force the output sequence of the columns. Value 1, value 2. Fixed values used to create column headings. SQL view does not limit the number of tables or queries that you can use as record sources for a crosstab query. Let us write a statement to create a crosstab query to summarize the total sales for sales rep by year. On the Create tab in the Queries group, click on Query Design, click on View and select SQL View, enter the Outline Transform statement. After Transform, type an expression to use to calculate summary values, for example, sum order total. After Select, type a list of fields or field expressions that you want to use for row headings. We want to summarize total sales for sales rep. So use sales rep field as row headings. Enter sales rep after select. After from, type a list of the tables or queries that you are using as record sources. Enter orders. After group by, type the same list of fields that you used in the select clause. Enter sales rep. After pivot, Type a field name or expression that you want to use for column headings. Enter order year. Pivot in SQL is used when we want to transfer data from row level to column level. Pivot turns the unique values from one column into multiple columns in the output. They are used as column headings. To add a sort order, use order by. Type the field name or expression that you want to sort on. Add sales rep. By default, an order by clause sorts values in ascending order. If you want to sort in descending order, type DESC after the field name or expression. Run the query. Summary of total sales for sales rep per year are displayed in a tabular form. Sales rep names are the row headings. Years are used as column headings. The values in the row column intersection come from the aggregate function. The value in the intersection of Luke and 2018 gives the total sales for Luke in year 2018. We can specify fixed values as column headings. After pivot, type in followed by a comma separated list of values enclosed in parentheses to use as column headings. For example, use 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023 in the in clause. This will produce four column headings. Run the query. Four columns listed in in clause are returned. If you specify a fixed value that does not correspond to a field value from the pivot field, that fixed value becomes a column heading for an empty column. For example, 2023. The values in pivot field which are not included in the in clause are excluded from the columns. For example, 2018 and 2019. You can limit the row headings by using a WHERE clause. In this statement, WHERE clause is used to return only Luke and Carter. Run the query. Only total sales for Carter and Luke are listed. You can group dates into year, quarter, month, etc. 
and use them as column headings. Use the format function with order date. To summarize the total sales in 2021 for each quarter, group dates by quarter. Use the format function and use Q as format string. Use a WHERE clause to filter records for year 2021. Run the query. Total sales per quarter in year 2021 for each sales rep are returned. Quarter numbers are returned by format function which are used as column headings. If you want to display more readable names, use concatenate to create an expression and use it in pivot clause. For example, concatenate order year and the text QTR followed by format function. Run the query. Now the columns are named in a more readable format. To get sales by month, change the format string to MMM. Run the query. Total sales per month in the year 2021 are returned. The columns are returned in alphabetical order. If you want the columns to be in a different order, use the IN clause and list the column names in the order you want. Run the query. Now the columns are returned in the order they are listed in the IN clause. You can write the SELECT query that returns all the data that you want to use in the crosstab query and then use that SELECT query as the source for crosstab query. Write a statement to create a crosstab query to summarize the sales of products by region. First write the SELECT statement using the aggregate function. Run the query. This statement returns the total sales of products in each category by region. Records are grouped based on category and region. The SUM function is the aggregate function used to get the total sales from the grouped values. Insert a transform clause before the SELECT statement and move the aggregate function from the SELECT clause to the transform clause. Add a pivot clause after the group by clause. Move the field you want to use as column heading from the group by clause to the pivot clause. Move region. Run the query. Summary of total sales of products per category in each region are returned. You can include the totals row meaning sum of all the values in the columns created using pivot. Add the aggregate function used in the transform in the SELECT clause. Run the query. Totals row is included in the results. The value in the totals row is the sum of values from the columns created by pivot in that row. You can use more than one column or expression in the SELECT statement to define the grouping criteria for rows. For example, to group by category and brand, change the SELECT statement to include brand. Now the records are grouped and total sales is calculated based on category and brand. Use the IN clause to choose which column headings should be displayed and in which sequence. For example, display sales for only Midwest and West, add this IN clause. Run the query. Now Total sales are listed only for Midwest and West. To download access example file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.